Support Wrestle Talk. Click the thumbs up. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, and I'll be replying to as many comments as I can for the first 15 minutes after this episode goes live. So join me, SWAF Nation, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel for the drive to 500,000 subscribers. We're still working on that slogan. And make sure you enable notifications on your YouTube app to be notified right away when our videos go live. To get the biggest news in wrestling like WWE considering a Hulk Hogan return. Which, with events over the last few weeks in mind, hopefully isn't for a sudden addition into the Survivor Series main event or as a five-on-five -five elimination team replacement. The Wrestling Observer newsletter is reporting the idea of a Hulk Hogan return is being revisited in in WWE, but it all comes down to whether the company's sponsors would be okay with the Hulkster's return. WWE terminated their contract with Hogan in 2015 and removed him from their Hall of Fame following a racist rant made by Hulk was made public in his leaked sex tape. Hogan's WWE return has been rumoured multiple times over the last year, with his daughter Brooke even telling TMZ there have been talks between the two parties for an appearance at WrestleMania 33. That, of course, didn't happen. But with WWE wanting to put on a huge show for Raw's 25th anniversary in January, a Hulk Hogan return would fit in with wanting to showcase the company's history. But with the Hulkster, arguably one of wrestling's greatest ever backstage politicians, things are never that simple. With The Observer also noting, Hogan was in talks about a return to wrestling of late, but not with WWE, with an angle that would have been huge. But Dave Meltzer points out that could just have been Hulk teasing a wrestling return elsewhere to make WWE move to bring him back, which he has a history of. Hogan's overly optimistic tweets seemingly support this teasing, channeling his Marvel Hulk by posting in all caps, I am grateful Hulk Hogan. And when it rains it pours, I will never say I'm bored again. Business is getting crazy off the chain. Better than ever. One more time around the block. Thank you God. I am grateful. Grateful, Hulk Hogan. These tweets came at the same time Hogan's longtime friend and colleague Eric Bischoff tweeted, Game just changed. Stay tuned. And F4W Online reported that the former WCW boss had become the new co-owner and director of wrestling operations for Cleveland Knights Championship Wrestling. Although Bischoff himself has since tweeted, I am not co-owning any wrestling company. Don't get your news from dirt sites. Apart from Wrestle Talk, who are totally the best. Hashtag drive to 500,000 subscribers. Hashtag SWAF Nation. We totally said all of that. We didn't Photoshop anything. Bischoff launched the IRW Network, which stands for Indies Rule the World, and acquiring an actual independent wrestling promotion could be the next step. This week's Raw was up 7% from the previous pre-taped show, drawing an average of 3.02 million viewers. But far more important are your ratings, where 63% agreed with me at Core, and 22% were slightly less impressed at Avroge. But what about all the title changes and Raw invasions on SmackDown? And has Neville repaired his relationship with WWE? Click the videos to the left to find out. Press subscribe and support Wrestle Talk. Order issue one of the Wrestle Talk magazine now. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was wrestling.